you can have different condition reinforcers, so you can use them in different places. I never fade off of my condition reinforcers. Th so think about, remember, classical conditioning can happen in lots of different places. Right? Anytime I do something repetitively, you're creating a classically conditioned signal for whatever that is, right? And if you do that enough, then that becomes a conditioned reinforcer, right? So, and you can do reward it in lots of different ways. I never fade off of my conditioned reinforcers. Like, they don't, they don't go away. They're there forever. I may use them different ones in different places, but they're there. Like, if I'm going to give you a reward in training, you're going to be released to that reward in some fashion. Right, with one of my condition reinforcers, like we talked about on uh, the, the two days ago on our more advanced communication system. One is for a remote reward, one is for biting, one is for the reward with me, right? One is for keeping going with whatever you're doing, right? And then we have our punishment markers, right? And potentially one or more than one punishment marker, depending on the consequence behind those. You can have a punishment marker that means do-over, no reward. You can have a punishment marker that means actually p positive punishment, like some correction is following, right? And so you can have a, a very robust communication system if you determine that's useful for you, depending on what you're training, right? But we don't get rid of them. Like, it's not, our condition reinforcers aren't something we fade. They're there as a piece of our communication system forever, right? Now, I do, we're going to talk today about reinforcement schedules. I do reduce the rate of reinforcement, and we go on to different reinforcement schedules as we go forward, but I don't actually fade out. This is the classic thing. Like, if you're a pet dog trainer, people go, when do I get to stop rewarding my dog? <laughs> Never, right? Like, so, there, you won't have to reward it as much, but there will be random rewards if you want to maintain those behaviors forever. You don't have to have it all the time, all that kind of stuff. There's a structure for that kind of work, but forever. If you train with pressure, the alternative, are you ever free of pressure completely? No. Is your dog going to, you're going to do this, I mean, occasionally you correct a dog for one thing and they don't ever do it again, but for most of our behaviors, for maintaining them with pressure, you're going to have to remind the dog sometimes with pressure too. Your recall's been really good, really good, no problems, no problems, no problems, no problems. Today you were chasing a rabbit, you got really fired up, Come, nope, uh, so I remember, right? So you're not free of that either, right, completely. And so if you maintain training, and especially elaborate training, uh, but any training, y there will be rewards and there will be punishments at various times throughout the dog's life, right? But it's not all the time. And it's the same with our communication system. I don't get off of it. It's a piece of the, the puzzle the whole way.